It was a chilly day on the island of Sodor, as Sir Toppen Hatt stepped out of his office. Eventually, he would become the esteemed fat controller, but for now, he was a young and brilliant engineer for the Ellsbridge Light Railway. After operating for many years as a horse-driven line, the owner requested that Sir Toppen Hatt design proper steam locomotives for the railway. Months later, Sir Toppen Hatt presented three engines, who came to be known as the Teapot Engines. Glenn and Flynn were awaiting a morning pickup at the mine. The owner was away on vacation, so they were to make the delivery to Ellsbridge on behalf of Sir Topham Hatt. I'm not sure if you two heard, but we're extending the line to Tidmouth soon. Is this because of that barge that sunk by the harbor last week? I'm afraid so. Railway inspectors shut it down because of that nasty chemical spill. After the trucks were filled, the two slowly pulled out of the yard. You better hurry up. There's a big storm rolling in soon. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. The two chuffed down the line, making good time on their way to Ellsbridge. But then there was trouble. Glenn, who was puffing along, noticed that a section of the track was missing up ahead. Hit the brakes! Glenn and Flynn screeched to a stop, just short of the missing track, when they noticed something. The entire line was damaged as far as the eye could see. Meanwhile, Sir Topham Hatt was having himself a relaxing cup of tea when he received the distressing news. He telephoned a nearby signalman. Some nearby farmers arrived with horses, and the load was transferred to the wagons. As instructed by Sir Topham Hatt, Lynn was waiting by a level crossing with empty trucks as the farmer approached. Hey, Lynn. A guy here some stuff in that mine for you to take. Looks like the other two are trapped till they fix the line. Thanks, sir. No problem, Lynn. Hours later, Lynn arrived at Ellsbridge Station and took on water. Just then, Sir Topham Hatt strolled up looking very distressed indeed. I've got some bad news, Len. The line has been damaged beyond repair. Some new tracks will need to be laid now. What does that mean for Glenn and Len? I wish I had an answer for that. But honestly, I don't know. They could be stuck on the other side for a long while. A large crowd filled the new station as the three engines puffed up to the platform. I want to welcome you all to the grand opening of Tidmouth Station. It has now been one year since I took over as controller of this railway. And I am proud to see the extension project followed through to completion. 
that's not all, folks. Three maroon engines and a green engine popped into the opposite platform as Mr. Wellsworth stepped out of the cab. We have officially merged with the Wellsworth and Sudbury Railway. From now on, we are the Tidmouth Wellsworth and Sudbury Railway. These four fine engines you saw pulling in are Mr. Wellsworth engines. And now, I'll let Mr. Wellsworth take the stage. Thank you, Sir Topham. As part of the merger, I have requested to take an administrative role while Sir Topham Hatt will be leading this railway into a better and brighter tomorrow. Mr. Wellsworth was walking into his office after a long day when he heard the phone ringing. Hello? Hello, sir. This is Sir Topham Hatt. What do you think about the idea of merging our two railways? The two controllers met the next day to discuss the merger possibilities. After many years of running the Wellsworth and Sudbury Railway, Mr. Wellsworth was looking to step down as controller. The two quickly struck a deal, giving Sir Topham Hatt control of the Wellsworth and Sudbury Railway. What Mr. Wellsworth didn't know, however, was that Sir Topham Hatt's railway had fallen on tough times recently. The mines ran dry, making it difficult to pay for the extension project. That night, Mr. Wellsworth engines headed to Tidmouth Sheds for their new home. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to greet the engines. Glenn, Lynn, and Blen, I want you three to add Tidmouth shunting duties to your work on the Ellsbridge line. I want Colin and Sheffield working the Wellsworth line while Lily and Adam were on the main line. Glenn, I want you to give our new engines a tour of the Ellsbridge line first. Glenn rolled out of the sheds and set off for Farquhar as the four Wellsworth engines followed suit. As Sir Topham Hatt returned to his office, his secretary strolled out to meet him. Sir, I just got off the phone with the Furnace Railway Controller. They have agreed to loan us Edward and Albert. Sir Topham Hatt smiled as he heard the news. That's great news indeed. This railway has a bright future ahead of it. I just know it, Sir Topham Hatt remarked as he walked into his office.